Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today what we've been doing is we have been doing a bit of treasure chest farming within the lovely area of Outland. So, what I've actually done is make sure if you are going to do this farm, make sure that you have GatherMate 2 and GatherMate 2 data. This is so you can import the treasures which are in there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this first before I show you any of the values that we actually got with this farm. Now, primarily what you're going to be want to do is go into GatherMate 2 and then you're going to want to go to import and just press treasures and then press import. And that's what you've got to do, select, import, and done. And what it will do is it will show you every spawn location of treasure chests in the actual game. That's pretty much what it does. And in every zone, that is exactly what you will be getting. <clears throat> so, what did we actually get from this? Well, we actually got quite a bit of stuff. We actually got through an hour's worth of farming up these chests. So we're actually gonna fly around and farm up some chests right now in Neverstorm, because it's been a while since I actually checked these areas. And primarily, all you do is go over to the, the actual zones and you just fly over to the treasure chest, where the treasure chests are. And we actually got the chest guard of Dark Stalkers, which was 1,993 gold. We also got a Demon Hide Spoulders, that was for 70 gold. We also have the Blade of Trap Knowledge, which was uh, 2,999 gold, which is uh, pretty good. Um, I was pretty happy with that one. It actually looks pretty cool as well. I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's a nice little one right there. So other than that, it looks pretty cool overall, and I generally do like it, so to speak. So what we're doing is we're just checking where these area spawn locations are, and just making sure that a treasure chest is there or not there, depending. So, other than that, what we'll do is we'll put ourselves on auto fly for a second. And then the other thing of note was the boots of the Pathfinder, 40 gold for that one. We actually have Storm Lord's Girdle, which is 81 gold, along with the Breastplate of, tur of Blade Turning. That's 996 gold. We also got the leg guards of the Shattered Hand for 57 gold. And then we have the Elk Hide Leggings for 599 gold. Now, aside from all that, what do I make of this farm? Because pretty much all I actually did, what all I actually really did was I just thought, hmm, why not farm up treasure chests? It's a, uh, it's a bit of an oddball one. So I decided to go farm it up. And it actually turned out to be quite cool. Um, I really enjoyed it. It gave me a bit of a variety of things to actually do and or farm up. And it was just something to do with, it's more along the lines of like a transmog farm than if anything. And it provided me with so well, some nice BC transmog as well, but also gave me a little bit of, uh, gave me a little bit of an uptick when it came to all of that jazz. So it's, I'll be honest with you, uh, the BC one didn't turn out as good as the other one, which I will probably be doing tomorrow, a video on. But really, all you're doing is you're running into an instance. Really, all you're doing is running into an area and trying to see if these treasure chests are up. And quite frankly, these ones are not up. So let's just run out of here and see if we can actually find some others. Because I literally went around every single zone to try and find these treasure chests and to be honest to be quite honest the gold for this actually on my server at this moment in time is pretty piss poor but if we go into worth it i actually recorded it and if we go into tbc chests we can go into edit so we can go into a nice little edit mode for that it currently says 6452 gold now, what I want to do is, it took me a while to actually farm this up, and what I'll want to do is, if I wanted to change the time for that, I would want to change that to 60, and then I can then save it as such, so TBC chests. And then all I've got to do is jump back into Worth It once again, and then it obviously drops down to 6,454 gold. This is for my server, so I thought well, if we'll go into configuration and we'll just go by the DB, 
uh, market average. And if we go into here, we can actually see uh, across most other servers um, for this, this farm will roughly cost us around about 12,000 gold for pretty much, it took me about 20 minutes to actually farm this up properly, to farm, go into every zone and fly around quickly. It was about around about 20 minutes, so it really wasn't a full hour's worth of farming. For like 20 minutes, about 12,000 gold worth of T-Mog. I'm okay with that, it's not the uh, be all or end all. It's just something to do while we wait for the patch and I wanted to have a little quick gander at it, see if it was actually a viable farming solution. But aside from that, what do I think on this farm? Um, yeah, TBC is okay. Um, you're gonna have to get really, really, really lucky. In my experience, when you're farming up the chests for TBC stuff, you mainly get the bulk of the majority of your gold through transmog with um, rares. If you're farming up the rares at the exact same time, because the rares drop some super rare items, and those ones are the ones that sell for the most. So that is something you may want to bear in mind right there. This is more like a uptick farm, so to speak. So 12,000 gold for a TBC chest farm. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that, really. It's, uh, it's not too bad. So overall, what do I think on it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay if you've got nothing else better to do and you just want to fly around and do something a bit different, so to speak. But I would still say a gathering farm is still better than this farm, unless you're really big on your transmog and then you want to try something new and fresh besides a dungeon. So treasure chest farming is one way to go about doing that. Basically, if you're going to do the TBC farm, I would actually recommend, I'm going to put the worth it export or import, whatever you want to call it, in the description of this video so you can import it and see how much it will roughly be gold wise on your server specifically, because obviously with Transmog, the price fluctuates quite a lot. So if you wanted to double check how much you are roughly going to make through Transmog through that, then the export and import for it is actually based pretty much just there for you. You can go into the description, import into worth it, and it will tell you how much you're roughly going to make for doing that farm. So that is something you may want to bear in mind. Also, when it comes to Transmog farms and with the worth it import and exports, just bear in mind that if you do put it on DB Min buyout, it may fluctuate the prices a bit because some people like to exacerbate those um, those prices a little bit, um, especially when it comes to some of these types of transmog, they aren't the true value. So I'd go with at least the DB market if you want it to be uh, safe, but if you want to be even more safe, I'd go with the historical value or the sales average. So that is something you may want to bear in mind when actually doing that. So let's go over to our last chest or something to that effect. And there is not a chest here at this moment in time, which is kind of a bit annoying, but not the end of the world. So there isn't a chest there. Okay, so then all I've had to have to do is just fly over to the Blades Edge Mountains and start farming up that one. So I pressed the wrong area. There we are. And that's basically what I did. I just checked every spawn location and just opened up every treasure chest and we got a load of those that we found. Um, so other than that, that is pretty much the video. I really just wanted to try out some weird and wacky farms before Shadowlands and just see if they were actually worth doing. And now my summarization for this actual farm, so to speak, for TBC treasure chests you're better off farming it alongside the rares than you are doing it alone. So that is one thing to bear in mind. And other than that, this one is more along the lines of getting just some high-end blue BC items. So other than that, if you wanted to double check the prices to get an idea on how much you would make, uh, the worth it export is in the description down below. Other than that guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.